It's a tried and true reminder police want you to remember. Lock the doors to your home and your vehicle. KFTM reporter Megan Dillard is investigating a string of burglaries in Port Natchez. She joins us now in the studio with more. Megan. Well, Kelly, Port Natchez police say a man hit nearly half a dozen cars, a garage, and a home Saturday. 20-year-old David Torres Jr. of Port Arthur is charged with burglary and burglary of a habitation. Police say it all happened here in the Drawhorn subdivision in Port Natchez early Saturday morning. Investigators say Torres stole thousands of dollars in items, including a generator, a laptop, and purses. Most of these things came from unlocked vehicles. He also broke into a house and took things while the family was in the home asleep. Sunday at about 3 in the morning, an officer pulled over a driver here at the corner of Lano and New Street. The officer says the man was driving erratically and broke several traffic laws. After police pulled the man over, another officer noticed two purses in the back seat. Both matched the description of items stolen in Saturday's burglaries. Investigators put the pieces together and determined Torres was responsible. He was also carrying marijuana. Officers arrested him. He was released from the Jefferson County Jail on a $25,000 bond. Police want you to remember, your safety starts with you, and crime knows no boundaries in a big city or in a close-knit community. Even though we live in a small town, uh, there is a potential for uh, burglaries like happened on Saturday morning. Uh, so it is wise to always lock your vehicle. Don't leave anything valuable inside such as purses, computers, uh, things like that. Police say no one was hurt and Torres didn't have a weapon. Officers caution, lock your doors. For more on our story, go to our website, kfdm.com. Reporting live in the studio, Megan Dillard, 6 News Tonight.